Uh, this past year, having conversations, we found out uh, in Senator Abler's committee that in 2025, we're gonna have a 40% shortage just in PCA hours. And, and, and the discussion also led to the fact that you have 65,000 waivers of which you'll see a 30% growth, and yet we still have an issue because there isn't a coordination or a collaborative look at how uh, a youth uh, gets into a system of work or supports. And so back in 1986, Madeline Wills, who was the Office of Special Education and Rehab Services Secretary, uh, said we need to look at the ages of 14 through 24, and specifically 50% of voc rehab dollars should be going in those age ranges. More, more importantly, 15% of all your voc rehab dollars should be going toward people with developmental disabilities. And so what prompted this uh, amendment, the A74, Mr. President, is in front of you. So I bring the A74 and I'll go a little more in depth on that. Thank you, Mr. President and members. And why we focus on 14 to 24 on the voc rehab Title VI section that in 1986, Madeline Will said 50% of supported employment must be extended to. One of the things we realized in our hearing was that the agencies, it was the first time some of them met each other. And we know that, one, Alec Bartolik is doing some great things with charting the life source. She's also looking at communities of practice. And so what we're saying is, um, a DHS along with the Department of Education indeed need to be on the same page when it comes to that, especially as we start looking at how we're gonna be providing services differently regarding these uh, students that are transitioning out. And so with that, Mr. President and members, I would hope we get a green vote on this and we can move our system forward.